it's more unusual here in rural Iowa to have two parents of the same gender. We both grew up in Des Moines. We've been here our whole lives. We've never left. Midwestern culture has an overall resistance to change. We are just people living in a community. Just two parents and a child growing up in the Midwest. We are probably one out of three black families, let alone gay families. A lot of people assume that we're brothers or cousins. We're just who we are. After I had come out, all of the energy got focused on to Katie and her preaching. I gave a significant amount of my life to the church. I desperately miss the church. Transitioning is a huge undertaking and it's not for the faint of heart. I wasn't expecting, you know, expecting my daughters to be in my life. What my dad was feeling and why she felt like she did was more than just her. Like there's more people out there who are like this. I very much believe that the bullying has re-emerged as a hot topic for LGBTQ plus students. The students believe that non-binary people do not exist. I'm here right now, so <laughs> we do exist. Across the nation, we're seeing a shift in who our political leaders are. They're mad at me because I'm an indigenous queer woman sitting at the table, and the death threats that come with that show that people are still shook that we're here. This is the moment. And all of a sudden, 2016 came, and it's almost like we went backwards. We're altering what defines a nuclear family. Our world is changing, whether people like it or not. That's the part that people don't realize. Do we stay and fight, or do we go? But where do you go where there's stability and safety? Because it does feel like at any moment, anywhere, it could change. This is the moment.